Hello, 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 hello. We have some Zenotic. I'm going to have to mute that one. There we are, and we're in the grand finals Spikes Zenotic January Jewel Tournament. Hello to YouTube. Hello to the live stream. We're on Quark. We've got Cup of True versus Rainbow Shadow, and this is actually live rather than demo, so we are going to be able to swap between camera angles and see what's going on, and we can see through walls. Oh yeah, we're back commentating live. It's been a damn while. <laughs> really has for me. First frag goes to Cup of True. Just missing out on the Mega, but still going to be getting it. Both these players have battled quite a few games to get to this point. And it'll be interesting to see how they stack up against each other. Two players I haven't commentated much of though. Cup True I've pretty much never seen outside of Clan Arena. And Rainbow Shadow I don't believe I've commentated uh, pre his major grind to actually become good at this game. But Cup of True taking early lead, 3-0. Only a little bit into the game as well, but Rainbow Shadow going to take him out. We should be swapping camera, but I forgot to press that button. Here we go, though. We could have some problems with the walls, because I've been playing Defrag and we've been drawing things on the walls, so... Decal times. Uh, de Fade time to sorry he uh, time one there we go sorry about the uh, technical difficulties of me being a plonker and forgetting to turn off weird settings that I have for other game modes but we're going and Rainbow Shadow is going to be picking up the mega. Pushing in heavily onto Cup of True, finds a beautiful bouncing rocket but doesn't quite catch Cup of True in the air and Cup of True is going to manage to make the frag. Both players going incredibly low here, Rainbow of course not wanting to push in, Cup of True not wanting to make it either but Rainbow in one of those rare situations where the high ground is worse when your opponent's under you in Zenotic you can shoot through the floors. Both players again going to such low holds. But Rainbow Shadow sticking it out in that Mega Room means he's going to get the Mega. He's going to collect a 50 armor. And we might see either of these players start to stack up. It doesn't look like Cup of True wants to give away any frags right now. Trying to just do long range chip damage. And kind of keep Rainbow at bay for the moment. But they've got to try and... Uh, Try and work out how they can get these armors without the opponent managing to get them. Cup of True make misses the Mega Health. And Rainbow's going to capitalize on that. Get the frag and get the Mega Health. In a good position now to start racking up some score on the board. But unable to get the movement quite right. It's a very tense situation. We are in the Grand Finals. Both these players are going to be a little bit nervous. And hopefully they're able to... Calm the nerves, keep everything together. But these are the best people in the tournament. The Grand Finals, of course. And we'll be seeing, uh, seeing some excellent Zenotic, whichever way it goes. We've got a lot of people online on the server. A fair few people watching the live stream. It's good to see Zenotic be, uh, be viewed by a good few people. Always do like it. Very much why I do this, so that we can share the love. Sharing's caring, unless it's chlamydia. Beautiful shots there from both sides. Getting quite a lot of chip damage, but neither player managing to connect. Mostly for the other person's damage. Neither of these guys have got particularly... Sorry, not damage. Dodging. As Cup of True manages to find Rainbow Shadow. Uh, looking the other way. And has a really good stack. Wow, I did not notice that Cup of True was stacking up that much. And potentially, Rainbow Shadow hasn't realised it either. And isn't gonna, isn't really going to know 
what sort of uh, position Kupatru is in because if you're going into that, it could be very dangerous. Like you're going into something that someone's got to damage themselves to be able to take the item away from you and deny it from you. You're going up against someone that's pretty damn well heavily stacked, quite frankly. Rainbow somehow dodging that last grenade, but... Okay, Rainbow Shadow. Sorry, I have not cast live in a while. Not quite used to the uh, camera change straight after death just yet. And Cuppertru going to go down to Rainbow Shadow, evening it up with five and a half minutes on the clock. Ten minute games, these. Uh, the timer counts up, because that's how most people play. And it's easiest to calculate, you know, it's harder to subtract numbers to work out when the next items are. And so for me playing, I have it on count up. And for me commentating, when I don't have those numbers to the side of the screen, most of the time, oh god, it's easier to count up when you've got to do the item timing yourself while commentating. Copper true. He's in a good position here. Gonna be found by Rainbow, but quite low. Should go down here. If he manages to get out, that'll be incredible. But that's a beautiful jump up from Rainbow. Seeing that Copper True was going for the jump, just able to get that angle and see uh Copper True looking down, ready to uh, ready to fire the blaster and pop up. Doing it himself much quicker than Cupper True, the reaction time and it happening. Managing to hit the rail in midair and take out Cupper True. I do like this map. It can produce incredibly fast paced moments like the ones we've just seen. But it can also give you a bit of slow time, a bit of downtime between fights. Rainbow going to pick up Mega Health again, denying Cupper True. And those slow times are beautiful for me because it means I can explain. Cuffertrue's on one health. Got to be on one health. Two, you can see the pixels. But one health, you can't. Rainbow's very low. Knows Cuffertrue knows where he is. If he's around, at least. If he's in, in earshot. Cuffertrue was coming through. But need the player again having health. It's part of the design of this map, really. Yeah. Spike, the guy who hosted this tournament, designed this map. Built it. Beautiful map. Part of the design of it is only having the Mega Health on a very exposed platform and the two smaller 50 armors. So you're always kind of at a loss for health and it's very easy. Like You see, Rainbow's been picking up a lot of Megas recently. Uh, with, at, so Rainbow has 11 Megas, soon to be 12. And f only four on Cup of True's side. Wow. Okay, I did not realise that the uh, the item stats... Ah, I th think it might only be showing Megas when we switch over. Yeah, okay, never mind. Uh, but yeah, still showing the correct number of Megas. Only 4 to 12 on the Mega side of things. Mega coming up every 30 seconds. So 16 means every single Mega's been taken, pretty much. Uh, the next one is 6 seconds. Wow, we've been on the Megas pretty much, like... On bang, 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 all the way through this map. Like commentating like this. All the new features been added since I last uh, commentated live, being able to use these little things. They come up, but Rainbow Shadow's got a lot of stack compared to Copper True. Definitely not anymore after a couple of. I think that was a direct grenade hit for 50 damage and then into the lava a little bit. Big damage there, though. Both. Players going to low, neither wanting to take the fight, but both pretty much wanting to go to the same area next. So they are going to find each other, and Cupertrue's going to make the frag, pick up the Mega. Doesn't have much time left, but he's going to find another frag, needs four. 40 seconds needs four frags. It's very unlikely, but it could happen, we could be going into overtime. It's definitely not going to be a win. Rainbow Shadow's just running away as fast as he can. Just trying to move. Knowing that if they cross paths, that's more time wasted for Cupper True. Cupper True doesn't have time to pick up the armors here. Rainbow Shadow has time to just wait in the corners. There's a frag. 20 seconds left. I'm sure Rainbow Shadow is just going to be waiting out the spawn delay. Going to be hiding in the corners. Trying not to make much noise. You can see when Cupper True hears just a tiny little thing. 
He's going, but he's not going to be able to make it. Five seconds left. There's de spawn delay is going to come in. And there it is. Rainbow Shadow is going to be taking the first map in this best of seven. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one if you're on YouTube. And if you're in the live stream, we'll continue hanging out. We'll get the next one going on Zoilent.